magic. We have an acronym every year, and this year the term magic came up, and it was a beautiful idea. It's making amazing groups of individuals connect, and that's what we're all about, connecting our kids with the world they live in and expressing their differences, and that's quite all right. To be different is okay, but be a part of the world we all live in. This summer, all of the um, administrators were at the superintendent's conference, and um, we had the guest, uh, guest speaker, we, Diego. Diego is a teacher here at Hillcrest. And during his conversation with us and his presentation with us, he invited us to come to Hillcrest. And I'm sitting there thinking, okay, I'm going to be the principal of Ward Highlands Elementary. We're a mile away. I've got to make this work. And so I just kept thinking about it. I pulled the leadership team together this summer before we started school. And I said, hey guys, we're right up the street from Hillcrest. We need a partnership with them. We need to make this work. And so I was talking to Shannon and then we decided to do a Grants for Great Ideas through the foundation. Shannon put all of the work into it and, 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 and wrote it. And um, here we are making the magic happen. What we did um, initially is we, we wanted to target specific fourth and fifth graders who are a little more reluctant to read and didn't have that confidence that they could do, that they could read. Um, so I met with them a few times, we did a few meetings on motivation to read, things like that. But we, I also used the Easter Seals program to introduce them to students who have disabilities just so they wouldn't be hit with the culture shock. So they knew what, what we were doing and asked them how they felt if they still wanted to do it. And they all agreed. And um, so I purchased books through the grant that were below level for them so they would be successful on them. They weren't struggling to read them. They were feel like, okay, I can do this. And also, there's a difference between reading a book to yourself and holding a book up and showing it and reading it. That's a whole thing you have to learn to do. So I wanted to be confident what they were reading. Um, and then they have their books each week. And then they come, we come over here once a month and they're assigned to a classroom with a partner. And there's there's usually three in a group of our students, and they're usually in a, a room of anywhere between four to seven students here at Hillcrest, and they share stories, and then on top of that, they interact, so they'll help the students here um, with their schoolwork or make something, or the teachers are wonderful by like um, having some kind of interacting activity after our students read to them. We invite other schools every Friday to come and interact with our kids during pep rally. We've had the Village's cheerleaders, the Forest High School cheerleaders, we've had basketball teams, we've had drum corps, I mean we've had them all. When Gina Dickey called me about this project and to have Ward Highlands come and read with our kids, I thought why not? What a great opportunity. Provide young people with the sensitivity of what special needs is all about. Start them young. It's not something to be afraid of. It's, it's okay. Um, and it's great for our kids. Our kids love to just be part of the real world and when we give them those opportunities it's amazing how they accomplish the things that they can accomplish. I wish that I've shared notices and feedback with people of the total the, of the type of impact that it has on the students. There'll be teachers say that their students will be talking about it, they'll be indicating you know different ways how much they loved it and a lot of times too in the experience itself uh, you will see there sometimes the reactions are laid back or different sometimes they're just outrageously excited. So um, it's, the impact is, is tremendous. It's tremendous, and it, and it happens. Oh, you know, afterwards, the students are normally talking about it. The moods are great um, for those that you know aren't able to talk, and it's, it's fantastic. And for our kids as well, they're like who are nervous to read. They're like they clap for me. They, <laughs> I mean, that and alone brought up their confidence. And also, they're like, when are we having our next meeting? When are we going back? <laughs> You know, I did this with so-and-so, and, -so, and we usually keep them in the same room. We have one group that has actually traveled, which is a new experience every time. Okay, but um, all around, it's just from the parents to the students that we have and the classes we go on, it's been po so positive on our end. The unit that we're in is the life cycle. And so with these high school students that are coming onto campus and talking to our kindergarten learners that are here with us today, they have an opportunity not only to see a positive high school role model, but to learn about the life cycle from that role model. Actually, we're in four different grades. We have pre-K this year, we added them. We have all the kindergarten classes, two of the second grade classes, and one third grade class. So as we go up in the grade level, we try to alter the curriculum, make it a little bit more challenging, and build off what they've learned the years before. What do I get to watch? And so get to hold, get to feed, get to water. Little responsibility that they don't have anymore. I mean, I grew up on a farm, so. But little responsibility of feeding it, uh, cutting paper up in strips for bedding or underfooting. 
feeding them, some get to hold them, some sneak back here and hold them when they're not supposed to. Today, actually we're in kindergarten, I have here some student work with me, and their chicks hatched this morning. They had three chicks that, that hatched, and of course they went into the, the second part of their lesson. They worked on conventions, creating senses. How many chicks did they have? What are the shape and sizes of those chicks? What are the colors of those chicks? And, and through the PALS program, we would not have that real life opportunity to do these kind of things. Only thing that we could do is talk about instead of actually allowing these learners to see it in action and occur right in front of their in front of their eyes. They went home yesterday no chicks, they came home this morning with chicks and now they're in their observation stage of, of this program. This is our last pals of this year. This was our last one, which is kind of boohoo sad, right? Yeah. But now this is gonna be fun. We still are having our big rodeo in a couple weeks where you guys get to do all kinds of fun games like horse races and cornhole and a whole bunch of other fun stuff, kind of like a field day. We have a good relationship. We help them like with their carnival as well. We help with like the safe trick or treat. We actually have a page in the yearbook this year that's just pals. So I think it shows that we do have a pretty good relationship here. Um, whenever we come, the kids give them hugs. They, they call me the chicken lady usually. And so that's my title here and that's okay. Um, that's just one of the lessons I really enjoy. But it has been a great relationship, I think, for both schools. It is an awesome relationship that we have with Bellevue High School and Miss Davis. Miss Davis's uh, children used to go here. She still has a child here that's in fourth grade. And the relationships that's been built there is a, a, that K-12 connection, that connection of our elementary students to their, 12th, to, their, to their high school peers and the positive male role models that they get out of that, the positive female role models that they get out of that relationship. Through the PALS program, there's been a lot more done besides just the chicks, just the life cycle. They participate in all kinds of things from the beginning of the year until now. And in fact, it continues to expand. We had to, to purchase uh, more, or she had to purchase more incubators so that more of our students would have the opportunity to participate in this portion of the PALS program. There are other portions of the PALS program that many of our uh, other students and classes have an opportunity to participate in, but with this portion, it is a little limited by the number of uh, supplies that we have to support it. Typically pep rallies are reserved for generating enthusiasm in anticipation of a sporting event. However, at Marion Oaks Elementary School, the staff put a unique spin on the pep rally concept to get students enthused about the upcoming FSA testing period. So we really wanted to do something to pump up our students prior to entering the FSA series, uh, just to let their mind um, go at ease and have fun. Everybody um, was, was like, oh, that's a great idea. And we just kind of all took different parts and pulled it together. And uh, we also wanted to uh, um, reward the teachers that had been working really hard um, to put the grit in our students and um, help them to be successful as much as they could and pass that test. Being a mom, I remember last year was the first time my son took the FSA and even though I've been in this business, um, or uh, not this role, but in, in this field, I still had a pit in my stomach and I helped him and I taught him everything you know that I knew as far as test taking test taking tips and skills um, I you can you just never feel like they're prepared and I know how stressed he was so so it was important to me to help them just have a, a, a moment um, to have fun and feel relaxed and lessen that anxiety going into test taking um, day because it's it, it's a test. Um, our job is to hopefully close those achievement gaps and then let them show what they know on the test and um, hopefully they will show us that it has worked and show us that they're proficient and ready to move on to that next grade level. Baseball players from the College of Central Florida and cheerleaders from Westport High School helped make the event a rousing success.